If you believe that the radical left isn't after your children, you're ignoring the fact that they very, very clearly are after your children. So Nickelodeon actually broadcast, I'm not kidding you, a video from a drag queen named Nina West. The drag queen Nina West performed an original song about the meaning of the rainbow pride flag for small children. Because again, Nickelodeon is directed at small children. It is not directed at teens. It is not directed at adults. It is directed at small children. Well, it looks like that right-wing loon, Ben Shapiro, is about to say something highly controversial that I don't agree with. Instead of bothering to see what perspective he's coming from or try to counter it, I'm going to very simply go with my impulsive desires to just dislike the video and write an angry comment about how he is a poopy head. After all, I am a high-functioning citizen in the world. I am in no way part of the problem. Who needs counter-arguments, acts logic, or even structure when you can just yell really loud? Find somebody that echoes your sentiments and be stuck in your own little safe space. Rainbows all around me, there is no shame in my safe space. My safe space. Only proof windows. Right, we have to, there is no way to discuss gay pride without coming into conflict when you're coming to discuss this with children, without coming into conflict with the reality, which is that it is a sexual orientation, which implies sex which implies you now have to discuss sex with small children. Sir, as a representative for the alphabet people, I take offense with that statement. Well, when you say it like that, you make us sound like we're all pedophiles or at least heading in that direction. And I assure you, Mr. Shapiro, people of the LGBT alphabet peeps are anything but pedophiles. We're not going to explain the reason as to why we're trying to indoctrinate four and five year olds into this little phenomenon that we started or whatever the fuck there. But I assure you, Mr. Shapiro, there is no way us alphabet people are headed in that direction or at least alluding to that in the slightest. And now I'm going to proclaim that you are homophobic repeatedly over and over and over again till I gather a small crowd or make it a big crowd, make it the entire Pride Month celebration parade, and we are going to shun you out of society and call you homophobic and cancel you repeatedly over and over again because big corporation, they know where the money's at. And I have TV people discussing sex with small children and gender orientation with small children. Does this sound like a great idea to you? Dra a drag queen lecturing your child on a bunch of stuff, including, by the way, BLM. There's like a BLM fist that appears halfway through this particular video. So you get a lecture on the gay pride flag by a man dressed as a woman. And this is going out to four and five-year-olds. <laughs> You serious? If an adult came into your house, a man dressed as a woman came into your house and started singing to your child about the wonders of various sexual orientations and your kid's five, you would call the cops. Well, there he goes again, ladies and gentlemen, with that right wing conspiracy mumbo jumbo that totally makes no logical sense whatsoever. And we're not even going to acknowledge it because if we do, it might make sense. Well, listen to you, Mr. Shapiro, as a member of the alphabet conundrum, I will now play a song which accurately depicts my feelings at the moment and we all know that my feelings are law. I am going to tear down your safe space brick by brick I shall smash it with glee. What? Who is that? You cannot stop me from getting inside. I am cold and I am hard and my name is reality. Oh no, not reality. Somebody stop him. My parents knew this was going to appear on Nick. Really, how many parents were sitting around going, I'll, I'll bet that what they're going to broadcast today is, a, is a, a radical gay propaganda video directed at children. By the way, you can be an advocate of gay rights and still believe this is not appropriate for children. Don't you dare try to brainwash me right now, Shapiro. I'm on to your games. We all know if we have 14, 15, and 16-year-olds with LGBTQ pride in their bios on Twitter, they've made it in life and we deserve to be very proud of them. Because there's no way we've confused them into not knowing what identity they are at such a young age. There's no way that there are going to be any repercussions or consequences of this happening to any of them. And soon we'll have a lot of confused pseudo-intellectual twinks telling us what to do and how to handle serious allegations because that is the future Shapiro and you can't stop it this is the new generation not your conservative b b mumbo jumbo because it's not appropriate for children and here's some rather inappropriate material for children appearing on Nickelodeon doesn't it just fill you with pride showing who you are on the inside it's time to stop it's time to stop, okay? No more. Where the fuck are your parents? 
I have small children. Blue's Clue is, is directed at three, four, five-year-old children. These are small kids. There are no 11-year-olds watching Blue's Clues. And now you have Blue's Clues having its own pride parade featuring a drag queen for small children. Don't tell me this isn't about indoctrination of kids. It's 100% about indoctrination of kids. And, and by the way, if you think the people who are doing this don't know what they're doing, you're an idiot. Of course they know what they're doing. Individuals using what people perceive as a righteous cause to do evil deeds? That's unheard of, Shapiro. There's no way this ever happens in the world. This is all for the good of man. The righteous culture that we live in now. Tolerance, love, understanding, respect, and all that mumbo jumbo that you're against, Shapiro. I will now judge you and continue the slander by painting you in the worst way possible to my peers and others, masking it behind hate. When in reality, it's valid criticism. And dare I say, some points that I couldn't counter without chimping out. I mean, why would I need to counter any arguments when all I can do is call you a homophobe and call it a day, right? And maybe throw in a little bit of the he's racist card as well to win my arguments. It saves me a whole lot of time and effort by just using those buzzwords to get my way in the world. We already have Microsoft bowing down as well as the other big corporations where they pretend to give a shit about these people for a month. I'm sorry, I mean our people for a month and the world keeps going and then again shapira there's not a damn thing you'll be able to do about it because the world is coming to our favor and soon all our dark deeds no matter how aware you are will go unnoticed and once again there's not a damn thing you can do about it because Everybody is so far gone at this point that any time anybody says anything negative or criticizes it by bringing to light valuable facts that we're keeping from the public, all we have to do is say you're homophobic and bada bing bada boom, we win every time. I am Alphabet Sen and I approve this message, girlfriend. When it comes to government, our say, we say, listen, you're an adult, you get to do what you want. But get, what you don't get to do is indoctrinate kids. And those on the left, they say, you on the right don't get to do what you want and we're, gonna, and, and we're going to indoctrinate your kids. Oh. Is it just me, or is it getting crazier out there?